So, my enemies are many. My, um, my equals are none. I've completely forgotten. It's Napoleon total In the shade um, of olive trees, they said well, Italy could series. never be conquered. This is the first opening cinematic, so I will let that run. In the land of pharaohs and kings, they said Egypt could never be humbled. In the realm of forest and snow, they said Russia could never be tamed. Now they say nothing. They fear me, like a force of nature, a dealer in thunder and death. I say, I am Napoleon. I am Emperor. And there we have it, a thrilling little opening thing. I'm now at the main menu, and um, so, right now I'm going to be playing the Pavilion Total War, and to start off, I'm going to wait for it to get... This is a post-narration, I'm trying to think of what was going through my mind. So I'm going to be doing a campaign of the coalitions. A campaign to the coalition? I'm not sure, you'll be able to see it better than me, I've got a tiny little screen. So I'm going to be playing as... As you can see, I've been playing not as Great Britain because I've already got one of those saves, but as Prussia. Now, for people who don't know, Prussia is now Pope, mainly. Um, it's also part of Germany and slight bits of Estonia and other parts of sort of Western Europe. Um, so, this is the loading screen for one of it. I, I do kind of like it because it shows the struggle that Napoleon had in order to try and conquer Prussia and Russia and all of that stuff. If you don't know the history behind it, there was actually a lot of cold, cold parts that they were in and most of the French soldiers actually um, paid Russians and Prussians to take their place and ran off to somewhere warmer. The seemingly unstoppable well, armies... France is warmer than Russia. So, that was just a little bit I've done. This is where we start off. Um, as you can see, it, uh, it's just, it, there's, you've got Hanover just there, controlled by the French, which isn't supposed to, so I've selected some army, um, and I'm going to be attacking, um, in each episode I will be gaining at least one, at least one stronghold place bit, so I'm researching some stuff, I'm buying some more stuff as he moves over, this actually goes on for two turns, because he can't quite make it in one turn. Um, I'm probably not going to be getting that upgrade at the minute, because that is for Navy, and we're not very close to the coast. If we are, we've got Denmark in the way, we've got to get around there, Sweden, all that stuff. Um, yeah, so, if we, we're searching, I can't quite see it, but it means it's conscription, that's what it is. And what it means, because I'm that nerdy, I know it, is that although the lower classes are happy because they have to, they have to go into the army. Um, it just means it's cheaper for me to build an army, and with a better army, I can take more places. I can get a bigger army, more money. Money is the main thing you need in this game. Screw armies, you need money. And as Prussia, the thing is, you don't have much money. You're not making much for profit. And um, that is the one problem with Prussia. So, if you can hear it in game, I, I can't, because as I've said, it's post commentary and movie maker, it's the narration. So, I know, I know, for people who uh, get Sony Vegas, I don't know if it costs, and if it doesn't, then I will. If it does, I can't be bothered, because I don't have any money. Well, I've got 20 quid, but so it's, it's going on a computer, because let's face it, if you can see in game, it's a bit laggy. A, a bit. I mean, Shogun 2 Total War, which I would want to do a series of. I can't because I don't have enough RAM. I've only got 3 gigs. I'm on a 32 bit OS. And I can only do 4 gig because my, my memory. My, my motherboard's old. It's a good 6 years old, this computer. So, 
for a six-year-old computer, it's fairly decent. But anyway, I'm doing some diplomacy right now. Um, in game again, not about my computer. And I'm making alliances and trade routes that way I can get some of other people's money. And as we know, other people's stuff is always better. Other people's food always tastes nicer. Other people's yeah, other people's food. Um, yeah, other people's software always works better. Um, so. So that's why I'm getting other people's money, because let's face it, it's probably better. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be taking over Hanover in the next turn, which I don't know how. Here we go, I've got that money. I've got into this research, don't want research in front again. I don't know why I clicked that again. Here you go, oh yeah, I'll go into the policy, the politics government bit, to see who my ministers are, because, you know, just want to know. And so I've got a little tax thing, this is... I don't know why it paused there, but it did. Um, and here we get into the ministers. So, we've got the king, King Willem, I think. William. It's King William. It's the Prussian equivalent, or German equivalent, because that's pretty much what Prussia is. Um, Poland, Russia, and Germany. Well, it wasn't Germany back then. There was no such thing as Germany. Germania. Oh, okay, I'm doing stuff with my mic. Don't like it. So, there's, there's the army, no that's not, I go on to the army guy next, army official, he's a, he's a bit of a fat guy, I don't really like him, but he's got a fair few stars, he's got a fair few experience, so he must be fairly decent, but uh, I can't actually read what they're saying, because it's just tiny pixels, um, no idea what it's doing on screen, so yeah. Don't know, what, I'm, what, what am I... No, I yeah, anyway. I'm... T oh, no, that's the Navy guy. He's fairly crap. I'm hoping there's an election soon. Before 1813. I'm on world domination, so I have to get 60 provinces by 1813. But I think there are six turns per year. So, eight years, six turns. There's... Um... Eight turns... Uh, no, six... Times eight, forty-eight. <laughs> Five times eight plus eight. Wow. How can I not get that? Anyway, so here we go. On to this is the end of the turn, and Britain want to make a military alliance. Um, they want me to give technology, but they'll pay me. So I'm happy with that. I get money. Um. So this is just a little Great Britain, the island that they are. Russia, who also want to make a military alliance with me. It takes a while, I keep forgetting to press space to skip it all. I don't know why it's so laggy though. What is it? Because it does, it, on my little screen it looks like it's lagging. But I don't know why. So, if it is, I'm sorry. Although I have had some problems with my computer, which means it does lag a lot when I'm not moving the mouse. So I've got to pretty much constantly be moving the mouse. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hurry up, Russia. I need to press on the next video. I'll be pressing space through these parts because it's just annoying and takes long. But, uh, so here we go. They would make a military. No, I thought they would be. Did they? I think they already did. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Russia already made a military alliance with them, or if I have, but I will be, because diplomacy is good when you're up against the French. I mean, nowadays, it's kind of good, I don't actually know, but they are known as cheesy diplomacy monkeys. That's a stereotype. I know, I hate it, because they're probably not. Let's face it, with Napoleon, they managed to cover up loads, so clearly not. They just don't have good generals. Um, so... As we see, this is the battle screen bit. I now click Assault. And this will be using my major tactic knowledge. You know, to show you what it is. So, you know, I think I'm the blue. Yeah, I'm the blue for this one. Far to the red. But it goes red, white, and blue. I just realised that was quite funny. Anyway. <sighs> the loading screens do take a lot of time. I can't 
to the Ritten artillery. Oh, sort of towards the left side of the screen eventually you'll see this little death icon because I've killed their general and you'll hear that as far as I understand you may not be able to hear the in-game noise but I can't but you might be able to um, so as there we go killed their general um, Niemand wird you can see in the top, top part of the screen a little death Schlacht. sequence I'm pretty Männer sure that's the artillery I managed to aim perfectly and just smack him. 
but it might not have been. As you can see, I'm flanking now on the left. My horses are engaging and I'm routing one of their units. So now it's time to route another unit. No, routing two of their regiments. So, as you can see in the little bar that I've told you about, I've now got a lot more of it. And I don't, that was the general killed. I've just, just noticed it there. Um, yeah, so I'm now closing in on their artillery and a bit more just to get that experience that I need. Um, so, as I close in on their artillery with only one regiment of horse, the problem is that they